Hello everyone, welcome to Stampin' Grotto. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and do a walkthrough of a cardstock only mini album that I made using the Lights Aglow Suite from Stampin' Up. So I used the 6x6 paper, some of the 12x12 papers, um, some of the, the stamps and the, the pearls uh, and the ribbon. And I just used some black cardstock to make the album. It has eight pages. Um, it's a little, little chunkier. Next time I'll make the space between the pages a little bit thicker. But I wanted to kind of... I do this all the time, especially when I have leftover papers um, at the end of, you know, catalogs because it's a great way to use your papers and create some memories. So this paper in particular was really good for this because it had these cute little kind of like frames uh, that you could cut apart. So they're three by three. There was four per six by six sheet. And I just kind of use them throughout the album. So I'm going to go through it and kind of show you what I did. So this is, it does have a magnet on it. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell those, but I have them in my stash. Um, and it's just a waterfall, so you can put photos on here. And then this just opens like this and like this. So this is just open, so you can tuck things in here. You can put photos on here. Uh, you can tuck in here as well, just like this side. Uh, and then these are little pockets as well. So you can tuck things in there. And then when you open these up, there is plenty of space for photos. So I love mini albums. I make them all the time. Um, and again, I really like doing them with some of the Stampin' Up! papers because they coordinate so beautifully um, that they make this process really, really easy. Uh, and their cardstock is nice and thick, so it works really well for making pages. Uh, so I just created, this is open, so you can put a large photo here, and then this is just a pocket, and I kind of rimmed it with some of the uh, pearls. And then I just created some extra photo mats, and then these are some of those little frames. And then this is just open, and you have those two. This is a side pocket. So got lots of space and you've got a couple more photo mats and some tags. So you can do journaling on these ones as well. Uh, and then this is just another small pocket. So I tucked a tag in there and I just made my tags uh, and these decorative pieces here with the very best trio punch. So the very best trio punch was from the mini catalog that ended, but it does still seem to be available online currently. Not sure how long that'll last. Uh, and then this just opens like this. You have all of this space and this space here. And then these are tuck spaces as well. So you have these little frames and then you can tuck in here. You could also mat photos here. And then these open up and so you have all of this extra space as well as these tuck spots here too. And then these are just some tags that I made. And then we have all of this space. And then we have another side pocket here with another photo mat tucked in there. And then this opens like this. And then we have a side pocket going the other way and another photo mat and one of the frame pieces. And then this just opens like this. So you do have this space in this space. And then this here is just another pocket and I just tucked a couple of pieces of decorative cardstock and one of the little frames. So for the cover, 
I used, I stacked them up using some foam strips. And this is the gold and the evening evergreen glitter cardstock that was in the suite. Uh, and then this is just one of those frames that I matted on some black cardstock. And then this was actually from the Brightest Glow stamp set. It just let your heart be light. And I just stamped that in evening evergreen as well. And these were... So the Labels Glow dies that went with the Brightest Glow stamp set. I just took this label here and I cut it in half and that's what I used to tuck under here. So just a slightly different way to use your dies. And I just kept everything else fairly simple. Um, I, do, I did double mat on the front and back covers as well as the spine and I just did that on some basic white. So and then these were again some of the adhesive backed pearls that uh, were part of the collection as well. So this came together pretty quickly and easily. I just used some of the ribbon that was part of the suite as well to create my bindings. And again, next time <laughs> I'll make this a little bit wider for my spine because I only left in about an eighth of an inch between each of my pages and I'm guessing I should have gone for a quarter or so. Um, but I really, really like how this turned out and I was curious to know if anybody would actually be interested in a tutorial on how I made these. Because, like I said, I do make them, I, and I make them in different sizes and, and different thicknesses with different amounts of pages. Um, it just kind of depends on how much paper I have left from, you know, different suites or what have you. Uh, because Stampin' Up! is great and they are constantly giving you new choices, but it also means that some of the other stuff is discontinued. And I like using this method to use up some of my designer series paper because, again, it coordinates really, really beautifully and it, it makes making something like this really, really easy. And you could easily just mat, um, like, you could create basic white photo mats to lay on here and put your photo on top. So they'd be matted and you have lots of space to do that and again they come together really really easily so if you are interested in a tutorial for something like this obviously I won't be making this one again because I used up all of my papers um, but if you are interested in a tutorial for something like this please let me know in the comments and I will see about creating one for you. So as always if you are interested in seeing more please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks everyone!